when it comes to the Browns and fans, you can never go wrong talking about one topic, Browns and quarterbacks. Browns, quarterbacks. You could do this every week. And I have to admit, I fall right into it. I write about it at least every other week. So I was looking at uh, some different things. There's a story on Bleacher Report and another one on Dogs by Nature. Will Cody Kessler be better because the offensive line is better? I mean, kind of common sense says, yeah, he should. Uh, but the surprising, uh, there was all kinds of different stats thrown about. One of the things that I found interesting, just as a casual watcher of games, it seems like the Browns quarterbacks hung on to the ball for a long time before they threw passes. Uh, and I just kind of wondered, is that true? Well, in the NFL, like in all sports, they count almost everything. And here's how tight of a time frame it is. The quarterback who got rid of the ball the fastest is a guy named Nick Foles, 2.3 seconds. That was the quickest where a guy dropped, the average guy dropped back to pass and throw, 2.3 seconds. The guy that hung on to it the longest is Tyrod Taylor from Buffalo, 3.1 seconds, 2.3, 3.1. So we're talking less than a second. Yet, it seems to make such a huge difference. But here, is what I found interesting. Cody Kessler, Josh McCowan, RG3. The NFL.com rated 50 of these guys. How long they hung on to the ball? Tyrod Taylor was number 50, 3.1 the longest. Cody Kessler, number 49. Josh McCowan, number 44. Robert Griffin III, number 42. So in other words, three of the bottom eight belong to the Browns. By the way, there's a couple good ones in there. Andrew Luck is in there. Aaron Rodgers is in there. So it doesn't mean you're just necessarily a bad quarterback. So I started to ask, well, why is that? I mean, some of it is sometimes they weren't sure where to go with the ball. Here's another thought that came to me. How about the receivers? I wonder if they're not getting open quick enough. I still and disappointed the Browns didn't do more to upgrade the receiving court because basically you traded Terrell Pryor for Kenny Britt. That's about all they really did. So a couple things have to happen. You know, Hugh Jackson's got to start throwing more uh, balls to his running backs. And they did throw a fair amount last year to Duke Johnson and to Isaiah Corella, but maybe even more. Work the tight ends in more. Set the valve or David Nakanju. And they need to actually have these quarterbacks get rid of the ball quicker. Because otherwise, while they led the league in sacks, getting sacked last year, in other words, no team gave up more sacks than the Browns, the quarterbacks are still hanging on the ball a long time. Maybe they won't lead the league, the line will be a little better, but they're still going to get sacked a lot. Here's the other possibility. Brock Osweiler, by the way, ranked 26th in that list of getting rid of the ball. I know I bring him up a lot, but I'm intrigued. That was right in the middle. There's 50 quarterbacks, he ranked 26. Now, watching him play for Houston, I thought he would have been in the bottom 10. It seemed like he hung out of the ball forever. So, you know, I go back to that. You know, the Sean Kaiser rookie, we'll see later on him. But when I look at Kaiser and I look at... I'm, I look at Kaiser, he's number three on my list. Then I look at Kessler and I look at Osweiler, and I think, you know, Osweiler's bigger, he's got a stronger arm, and according to this, he gets rid of the ball quicker. I hope they don't just dismiss him and simply hand the job to Kessler.